channel Brian the Divine Healer here with you on this fabulous 4th of July. Alright, hope you all are going to go on at a safe time. It looks like in my area it might rain, so I don't know what's going to happen. But uh, anyway, good morning. Come on in, sit down, take your shoes off, relax, grab your coffee, got mine brewing. I'm going to do some cusp readings, that's right, cusp, C-U-S-P, cusp. That is basically <clears throat> the transition period where you, as your sign right now, is going to be Capricorn and Aquarius, which is the cusp of mystery. Ooh. And that's from January 16th to 23rd. So all y'all that are in that time frame, January 16th to 23rd, you are a cusp. And it basically means that that's a transitional period of time from one sign to the other, okay? And so that's what we're doing. My coffee brewing. <laughs> so... Divine Squad, thank you for your loyal subscriptions. Thank you for your comments, your likes, and your shares, right? And you person, the new person, the noob person. That's you sitting right there. You better go grab your coffee because this is a good one. Hit the like button and subscribe, okay? We're going to get into these cusp readings real quick. I'm going to see what is going on for the Capricorn Aquarius cuspers today, right now. Not for the past, not for the future, right this very moment. So, get your coffee, put your feet up. Let me give this one more whack. And then let me go get my coffee. I'll be right back. So good. Splash of hazelnut. Oh, forget about it. <coughs> anyway, it's enough of my coffee. You got yours? Good. Come on in. <clears throat> Prop up your favorite chair. Put your feet up. Let's get rock and roll in here. Okay. One more. I know. I said one more before. But... There we go. That feels better. Okay. So, noobs, it's you. Here we go. Don't panic. Everything's going to be fine. I'm a intuitive, psycho tarot, card reader, messenger, deliverer, however you want to say it, however you want to feel it, I'm here for you. Okay. And so with that, I'm going to lay two cards out for the balance of your duality. That's your masculine, your, neg your feminine side, that's your negative, your positive side, good, bad, light, and dark. Okay. Then I will proceed to tell you a story. Then at the outcome, two more cards, send you on your way. Goodbye. I'll see you again, okay? But hit the like button on the way out. You should be already hitting the like button right now. Anyways, this is the reading for Capricorn Aquarius. The cusp of mystery. Okay, so let's get to it. First two cards out for y'all are going to be this. One is the High Priestess. Major Arcana. Let me pull another card here because that is so big and broad. It could be anything. High Priestess is about Five of Cups. Five of Cups is sadness, sorrow, disappointment. High Priestess is uh, inner knowing, intuition, knowing without knowing. So as this stands right now, something about your intuition tells you that you knew you were going to be sad. Something in your intuition tells you that you knew you were going to be disappointed. I'm sorry. That's just what the cards are telling. That's what it's showing, too. Okay, 
So, or, or it could be <clears throat> because fives represent change. Cups is your emotions. Let's take this logically. You could be changing in your emotions and you know it. So, let's get into the dirt and find out the story and why you're so hurt. Okay, here we go. Two cups. Relationship. Choice. Two's about choice. Emotions. Again, relationship club. Okay. So, mm, Maybe you knew from your intuition that you'd be sad if you made the wrong choice about a relationship. Or that you knew that you would be sad making a choice in this relationship. Let's see. The lover's card. That's your soulmate. That's your twin flame, your divine counterpart. Yeah. So it is that you're sad in the choice that you have made over your lovers. Lover. <laughs> maybe you had a choice, okay? Choose or about choices. So maybe you had a decision to pick between two. And you feel that the choice that you made. Maybe it could have been towards your divine counterpart and you pick somebody else or vice versa. But I don't think you'd be sad if you picked your divine counterpart. <laughs> I really don't. I think you'd be pretty happy. That's what we all strive for. So, yeah. Okay. So, that is that. Okay. So, you should have used your intuition or you knew that you would be sad in making this decision towards this counterpart. choice in between lovers. Queen of Swords. Snappy, defensive, quick to cut shit out. Very strong in your words. Not so harsh, but very mm, cutthroat, black and white. There's no gray. Okay? That's Queen of Swords. Cold. Yeah, that's making you pissed off. Okay? The choice that you made, you knew... It's gonna make you sad about this decision towards this lover, lovers, divine counterpart. Okay, let's find out why. Let's find out why. Here we go. The why is because it brings you much burdens. Okay, ten of wands, burdens, carrying a lot of shit. <clears throat> are. I just know that there's a lot of them, okay? <clears throat> so that definitely would tell me that there's been a wrong decision in making this choice for the lovers. So I'm going to put these back. There's just too many. Let's just do another little flippy fresh kind of feeling. That was crap. Okay, so 10 of Wands, yeah, you're burdened, right? You're pissed off. What the hell? Anyways. Next card. Four Cups. You're really, oh, I'm sorry. You're really like, disgusted. Sad. Uh, this, this is just like, boo. You go from five to four, so you keep, it keeps getting lower in your emotions. So you keep getting sad or you keep getting, I wouldn't say depressed, but you know, you can't believe that you made this decision. Why? Well, the why is because there's much burdens with this, okay? So they're carrying a lot of burdens. 
and you're very sad and sickened by this. Sickened as in like, you know, disparage, uh, disappointed. And it was just the choice. So the two of cups is the choice, right? So that's sometimes we make the wrong choice. Don't hurt yourself too much over it. Emotionally, I mean that is. <clears throat> nine of nine of pentacles. The burden is that because you made the wrong choice, you're sick of that idea. Because you're more happy being single and abundant. Independent, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, you feel that you shouldn't have made this choice in a relationship because you're better off being single and abundant on your own. Wow. Okay. So sorry. That's just what it is. Let's figure this rest of it out here, okay? And the tower comes, okay? So the tower means destruction, uprooting, cracking the foundation, something that wasn't built solid, okay? Is going to come down, change. And that's probably this relationship, okay? <clears throat> many way too many yeah okay so the tower comes not a big deal sometimes we make we make decisions that you know we change our minds on we go back on it's okay let's just pull another card here and see where this leads to the page of cups okay so it's all right in this process of making a decision which you knew internally was not going to be the right one because it's making you sad about a relationship with your divine counterpart, put you in the Queen of Swords. So you're very snappy, very quick-witted to cut communication, cut ties, cut it off. Because it's burdensome for you. And it's disgusting to you to think that mm, you made the wrong choice. Because you're better off being single. But here comes the tower. Pull it all down. And a page of cups comes in and says, Hey, here's a love offer for you. So someone else comes in. Maybe this other partner of this choice of this relationship. So if you had the balance to see which one you wanted. Comes in and presents an offer. Page of cups. Small love offer. Small. It's a start. But it is there. Okay. This is right after the tower comes. So after you realize this. Here comes something new. Mm -hmm. let's, let's dig in this dirt and find it out. King of Pentacles. So the message that comes into you is from this, this message of love, comes in from this King of Pentacles, who's a very grounded, stable, abundant king that has all the shit together, marriage material type person. Hmm. So maybe in this process, I feel that mm, the other person in this decision of the tail between two, which means you had to choose between two lovers, you made the wrong choice. And so once that was collapsing and you realized you should have, you would have been better off single, the tower comes and this other person messages you and this is the king of Pentacles who messages you and this is person is, you know, pretty grounded, stable, abundant as all hell, driven, you know, and it's the king, right? So they got their shit together. Let's keep going here. And that brings you ten of cups, okay? Because that was the person you really wanted to choose, okay? But it's okay, because once that tower comes, the tower is basically that realization, okay? made a mistake, you're the wrong person, that's why you're sad and, you know, in this despairing, disparaged kind of energy, right? Because you felt you could have been better off single, the tower comes crashing down, here comes this message of love, small little love message from your king of pentacles about 
complete wish fulfillment. Your Ten of Cups. This is what they're bringing. That's in the message. Hey, I love you. You know what I mean? Let's do this. Let's make it all work. Let's find out what happens. Two cards. One on the bottom. King of Swords. Cold-blooded! What? Cold. Snappy like the, the Queen. And the Magician. So what I'm seeing here is that once this message comes in to y'all from this King of Pentacles, who has much love to give, the Magician and the King of Swords now says that you can manipulate your mind, the Swords are about the mind, into getting out of this cold-blooded, sad, and sick disparaged idea of you making the wrong choice. Okay. You have the ability to manipulate that energy to go away, to bring it to the Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. So, this basically gets you out of this mm, snappiness, this sadness, this feeling weighed down of burdens and the wrong choice that you made by this person, the King of Pentacles, who presents you this love offer, gets you out of this cold, decisive, snappy, cut your head off kind of energy to give you this Ten of Cups feel. Complete emotional abundance, happiness, love, baby, love. That's right. So, there's your story. Two more cards. For the end, that's your verdict, that's your outcome, that's, don't let it hit the door on your way out, okay? Basically, so, here's your two cards. First one is the Page of Pentacles, so the, the message now comes in about stability, being ground. Let's start building together, let's start making our foundation. Let's start planting our roots and making this solid. This page of pentacles is a solid love offer, solid, solid commitment, that solid backing to this offer of the page of cups, the love offer from your king of pentacles. The two of wands. Now the two of wands says that you are going to Choose passionately this person. Your soul is going to choose this person. You're wise to choose this person. Mm -hmm. Because, see that little, that little birdie right there? That's the divine guiding you, above you, checking it out, leading you to this decision. Okay, and you're going to make it. You're going to decide correctly this time because now you understand what this person's all about in the past you've seen just these burdens from the choice that you've made or that it's you didn't make this decision and because you were burdened by being single and not making decisions wasn't a tale between two people. Now that I'm looking at it a couple different ways. Your decision was to stay single and not make a choice in this relationship. Because that is what's making you sad. And knowing that you have to change that. Because fives are about change. Cups is your emotions. So you have to know that you have to change your tune. About a relationship towards your divine counterpart. Who at this point. You were just being defensive and burdened by having to stay single. That tower came. This message comes in to you from your king of pentacles, who is your divine counterpart. Saying, let's get married. Let's have this complete wish fulfillment. End your snappiness. Transform yourself. Let's get grounded here and start working on the shit together. And make this. 
I like that one better. Okay, so that has been your reading. Appreciate your time, your energy. Like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate it. Newbies, hang on because we got way more readings to come. So keep coming back. Subscribe and tell your friends because I'll be here. Okay, peace and pray. Have a good day. Be safe.